Hello everyone and welcome back to Dr. Care's Amy's Pet Clinic. And yes, I know it has been a long time since we have checked in with Amy and her adventures. That was because I got so busy with all of the stuff going on this year, but I was sitting down thinking about adorable giggling guinea pigs and that made me remember, oh yeah, Amy's elementary school chapter is not yet over. We left off with this tension growing between Amy and her former best friend and we are trying to figure out what to do about this whole situation while taking care of a bunch of adorable guinea pigs, bunnies, and turtles in her elementary school room which is just so freaking cute and now I want to go and build something like it in The Sims 4. Oh my gosh. Uh, of course I would get so sidetracked by the crossovers that we could possibly do but we are only two stories away from the end of her elementary school memories and the beginning of our opportunity to go to Snugford Shelter and start helping out the cats and dogs there, which I 100% want to do. So let's go ahead and carry on. We are going to confront the situation of what happened to the jar of money where the students put their donations to raise funds for all of the little classroom pets. Uh, I have a feeling that it was destroyed by our new frenemy. Dun dun dun. What happened? We were going to ask you that. Everyone, please stay calm. We'll sort this out. Oh, she looks so mad. Amy, it looks as though the donations were stolen last night. And Amy, I think, is the only one with the key. Look at that smirk. Look at that smirk. Oh my gosh, Amy. Oh, this is so terrible. Did you remember to lock the donations jar? Of course. I know you're a good student. You wouldn't do that on purpose. But everyone makes mistakes. Oh man, the teacher's already come to her own conclusions. This is, this is kangaroo court. We are biased. We are being biased against. Amy is innocent. I guess this is before the age of like having security cameras. Sam saw me lo locking it, right Sam? Oh no, this is when we are going to experience the pain of betrayal so early in our elementary school years. I guess. Maybe you didn't lock it properly? I bet Amy stole it. Oh, he's the real jerk. Never mind. Sam, you were... Oh, she still got that smirk going on. But she wasn't, like, accusing us of stealing it. I didn't steal it. I locked it. I did. Amy, wait. Okay, everyone. Please settle down for class while I sort this out. I mean, yeah, it's a big deal for the class community, but it was probably like, what, five dollars in pennies? <laughs> Everyone needs to calm down. And now Sam is the one in charge of the animals, and last time she fed them really questionable biscuits, so I don't know about this. Oh, oh, kids will donate more when they see how they can improve the lives of animals. How could I pass up spending our hard-earned cash on that? Come along, my little friends. Take care of your little turtles. Oh gosh, that turtle is so cute. Look at the little habitat. They've got a little fern and everything. My goodness. All right, Sam, you want to find all the glass pieces because you're hiding the evidence, maybe? Also, we don't want the glass around the kids or the guinea pigs. All right, is that all of them? Not quite. Oh, jeez. All right, oh no. I totally missed out. Oh, jeez. all right. I totally forgot how chaotic this all could be. Come on, Sam. Come on. Oh my gosh, Sam. Go, 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 go. I totally forgot like how busy all of this could get because it's been so long since we have been with Amy and Sam's adventures. <gasps> the little guinea pigs have their little snacks. Oh, I love it. It's just so cute. Uh, all right. One, two, and then we need to get some strawberries over here. Check this person out. Oh no, this girl wants to feed. Oh geez, Louise. I totally forgot about this. Get in. Get in. Get in! Get in! Oh my gosh. Ah! Sam, you're not nearly as good at this as Amy. Just, just FYI. Oh geez. Okay, I forgot. Gotta feed the fish. Uh, gotta make some carrots. Okay, go. Gotta make some carrots. Come on. G give them, give them to her. Why can't we give her the carrots? <gasps> I put them in the wrong jar? Oh no! Oh dear. Oh my. This is all going wrong so horribly fast. I don't even know... Ah! And now I need more carrots? Oh geez. Okay, okay, don't panic. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's get rid of the carrot kids. 
Sam, you are not doing this nearly as good as our little Amy was. All right, there we go. But she is trying. Like, I don't want to be too hard on her. I think that she has definitely been way too accusatory towards Amy, and I think that she's delighting in seeing Amy's popularity go down. <gasps> oh, come on, little turtles. But I hope she's, like, as terrible as all of that is, I do hope Sam is getting at least something out of taking care of the animals. Um, all right, we'll have to cut some strawberries. Uh, I need, oh, I need more carrots. Why did I put the carrots in the wrong color? Kids are so picky. They're like, no, the carrots have to be in this color. But I, I've been a nanny. I've been a teacher of elementary school students before for a nonprofit about animals. Uh, I know how picky. The pickiness is just a natural part of it. So we'll just have to roll with it. Uh, all right, one, two, three, put that away. At least we got the little mouse too. All right, come along. And we're gonna take care of this. There we go. Clean both the habitats. All right, not the best perhaps, but we're managing. This kid wants to help out with cleaning the fish tank. And really, I cannot, I cannot complain about the kids wanting to help the animals. That's definitely a good thing. Oh, turtle, there you go, little guy. How do you get so dirty in that tank? You need more ferns. I'm sure you would be like much tidier if you had more ferns, because everybody loves plants. All right, we'll put this away. Okay, come on. Oh, did I put it in the wrong color bowl again? Oh, I did. All right, we need to cut up some things. I basically need more of everything. Okay, come on down. There's that. All right, this girl's like, no, I absolutely need the purple bowls. I simply cannot live with any other color bowl. Hey, but we did it. And we actually managed to get enough donations again for the animals. That makes me happy. Oh, and I found the last piece of glass at the last minute. Yes. All right. Oof. There you go, little guy. You get so messy. He must have like a little mud bath in there. Maybe he just really loves it. It's like a little turtle spa. Phew. Wow, I can't believe we did that. That was a lot more stressful than I thought it would be. Oh, clean this up. I will admit, Sam did manage to pull it off. Completely clean stations. Even if she is a little dubious about her interpersonal relationships, at least she's trying to help out with the animals. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. It's all going to be fine. And Amy is like totally justified for feeling so attacked when she works so hard at taking care of the animals, but this is like that emotional regulation for children where you have to also realize that if you want to calm the situation down, you must first calm yourself down a little bit. Everyone, everyone's going to think it's my fault. I'm sure Miss Everly will sort it out. Everyone thinks I stole the money. Like that's really bad. I do understand her being, that's worth crying about Amy. That's not very fair, is it? Oh, she has such a wise grandfather. I wonder where her parents are. I think you find out in the next game after this, my friends. Sometimes people need someone to be angry at, even when they shouldn't be. You mean like mom and- Oh, oh Amy, no! <laughs> Just as I was wondering where her parents are, <laughs> apparently they're so busy being mad at each other. <laughs> that she lives with her grandfather. Oh, that hurts my heart. Well, sort of. This is a little different, but the important thing to remember is that it's wrong. To point fingers. To blame each other. Like how we train animals, right? Oh, I just want to give her a big hug. She's just trying to find that sense of family and stability and taking care of animals that apparently her parents aren't giving her right now. We don't get mad, we just help them. Exactly. You're a good person, Amy. Never forget that. Oh, now I have like tears in my eyes for this poor child. All right, Sam, I'm not gonna complain. You did do it. I think that, but I think that she stole the jar is the bottom line. Let's see, customers will order twice. Uh, one day I may actually go through and do a stream where we just like do this to completion because come on. Also the shelter cat December is, is really mad at me right now guys because I have been away so long, but we will take care of December and we will drastically upgrade and enhance our little shelter and get more animals in it as time goes on. So he's a little bit cranky with me right now. All right, challenge don't run out of food, twist and turn. 
let's find out what the final chapter in this elementary school drama is. Uh-oh, Miss Everly looks really like she's side-eyeing us. Miss Everly? Good morning, Amy. Are you feeling better? Did she, like, run out of school back home? I brought you this. It's all my savings. It's not much, but... Oh, Amy, you don't need to do that. Mistakes happen. You shouldn't blame yourself. I don't think she thinks Amy took it because she's too good of a kid, but I do think she thinks Amy didn't lock the door. I want to make this right. That's very admirable, Amy, but what happened, happened. Hey, making something right when there's been like a, a, an event is important, Miss Everly. You can't just be like, you gotta suck it up, kid. We'll, we'll all work together to fix this, okay? Well, that's a good point, because if she thinks Amy doesn't take it, then the other kids need to fall in line. Also, I think that this is a cat skeleton up in the top corner. Huh. Where's Sam? Her father called. She's coming in a little later today. Amy, why don't you join the rest of the class? It's time to take care of our pets. All right, how's this gonna pan out? I'm pretty curious. Our goal today is not to run out of food, and considering I miserably failed that last time, let's get to the chop choppy. All right, chop 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 chop. Apparently we have an endless supply of lettuce. I highly approve of this. I put it all in the wrong color again. <laughs> oh, how could I? Okay, here, feed the fishy. There we go. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, one, two, three. There you go, little turtles. You're gonna have such a wonderful snack. And speaking of snacks, all right, let's see. Let's get a nice little mix for the guinea pigs. Don't feed them too much, guys. Guinea pigs do not need very much every day. Uh, let's get some apples for the bunnies. Very nice, very nice. There we go. Oh, the turtles are getting a little fresh because they're constantly dirty. They're, look, they're on, always in their little mud bath. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? They got the cutest faces though. It makes me want to recreate the mud salon in our zoo crafting series to be honest. <laughs> and then we could put in a bunch of turtles getting a little mud bath. <gasps> I love that idea. Man, I hope I never stop coming up with fun little crossover things we can do. Like I want to build this room in The Sims 4 and then send my sim children there and say that it's like their animal classroom. All right, let's go ahead. Maybe I could even have Fern Green in our Sim stories end up working. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, end up working in a little animal classroom like this and teaching elementary school kids all about animals just like I used to do. That would make me so happy. Good job, Siri. Constantly connecting things that normally aren't connected. It's fun, guys. Like, seriously. I, I know I'm kind of being silly right now. But I really think creativity is uniting things that normally don't go together. Like Sims in this game. All right, anyway, I'll stop yammering on about that. And let's feed the turtles some more carrots. Did I put it all in the wrong color again? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Children, you're so picky. Like, I'm gonna have to wash these dishes once you're done anyway. Can you please just accept the dish that I choose for you? We're gonna have the cleanest fish tank in all the land. Holy cow. All right, scrub, scrub, scrub. Let's come down. What do you want, kiddo? Is he still thinking about it? Man, he's taking his time. Oh no, he was feeding them. That's so cute. Oh man, now I wanna hang out with like Thistledown in our Star Stable series, because he'd probably love to have all these snacks. This is just so cheerful. I hope you guys are having a nice night too. Oh my gosh, I put them all in the wrong, <laughs> in the wrong color bowl again. Oh geez, and we're almost out of carrots. Wait, I heard the mouse. Where's the mouse? Do you guys see him? Where's the mouse? No, those are bunny ears drawn onto a, onto a, a board, not the mouse. Oh dear. I think we missed our little mouse friend. I put them in the wrong, ah! He wanted strawberries, not carrots. Oh my gosh. And she wants lettuce. There we go. Oh, good grief. Keeping up with these kiddos can be quite the event sometimes. There we go. Fed them. Uh, oh, no, 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 Amy. We're going to run out of food. Go fast. Go fast. We have to chop up some fresh things first. There we go. All right. No, 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 Amy. We're going to run out of food again. I think I just ruined things. I think I just ruined it because we might run out of food. 
Oh, thank goodness, I convinced her to do something else just in time. Man, suddenly all of the kids, this feels like being a teacher again, because one kid is like, I would like the orange bowl with strawberries. And all the kids are like, oh, me too, me too. And you're like, but we only have two orange bowls. Help, help. Uh, all right, let's see, one, two, three. And then let's grab the book and the lettuce, drop this off, drop that off, grab this, grab that. Phew, we made it. All right, these guys are done with the guinea pigs. We need some fresh apples if we're gonna like not run out of things. I love how this little girl looks like she's gonna give me a hug. That is so sweet. I always loved that when the little kids were like, oh, Miss Sage, can I give you a hug? And I'd be like, of course, child. There we go. But I really loved the place I worked. All right, there we go, come on. Sponge, I've got you. Help this kid clean this fish tank. Though, you know, I will admit, I worked in the cave section of the nonprofit that taught about science and animals and ecology. Uh, oh, that was the mouse! I was tricked! He was hiding with the bunny ears after all! I knew it! I knew it! Oh my goodness! All right, little turtles, mud bath time is over. Oh, and this is actually the last moments, guys. This is it. We, we don't have any more to do. In, in this adorable little elementary school anymore. All right, let's see how things are going to play out. Okay, everyone, settle down. Samantha has some news. As we all know, Amy lost the money we donated. Samantha, no more pointing fingers, please. Sorry, Miss Every. So if we don't find another way to raise money, we won't be able to keep the animals. So I called Daddy and asked him to donate all the money Amy lost. Yes, Samantha, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Beringer kindly donated enough to keep the costume animals here for a year. What? That's really cool, but... Man, Daddy also booked a campground near Snugford. We can finish our class on, uh, on a camping trip. <gasps> that sounds like such a cute idea, but why? Like her motives come from a like bad place, but do somewhat good things, but for bad reasons. Oh dear. Now all the kids are happy. Settle down now, class. You all must be on your best behavior. Is that clear? Yes, Miss Everly. Good. Now everyone say thank you to Samantha for putting all this together. More like thank you to Daddy Big Bucks. Thank you, Samantha! Isn't this cool? Not only do we get to keep the animals, but we get to go on a camping trip, too! It's nice of your dad to do all this. Yes, Daddy is awesome! Thanks for asking him. You saved the animals! I did, didn't I? See? We make a great team when we work together. I'm... <gasps> is this the twist? How about we go to the clinic after school today? Um, I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. I'll meet you outside. Okay. I knew it! But... that either so clearly she is in in the dark with this whole situation so how do things go from that to Sam being such like a, a traumatic memory that Amy had like she ran away screaming from Sam screaming when this happened and now Sam is like moving in and has a vet clinic in town I am so like how does this childhood weird rivalry pointing fingers, being aggressive, needing someone. Oh, grandpa, your general ira of wisdom approaches. Sometimes people just need someone to be mad at, even when it's not right. And I wonder if for Sam, Amy was that person that she picked to channel all of her frustration and anger of a mother who apparently is either dead or not there, and a father who is apparently like never there and just uses his money to stand in for being a parent. Uh, and maybe she's just decided to be angry at Amy. Like, there doesn't have to be any more logical reason to it. She's just, like, a class diamond-level bully of manipulation towards Amy to get her anger out. Huh. 
We'll have to see. I feel like Grandpa clued us in. But next time, my friends, we will be adventuring in Snugford Shelter and seeing how these stories will be going with Walter's training session with the future still having this amazing parrot camp. Holy cow. Amy's lab. What? And Positive Hospital. I really have no idea where this story is going to take us, so this is going to be very exciting. I hope you guys are looking forward to it too. There's just something charming and relaxing about this game. I, I love the whole genre. It inspires me so much for all of the other stories we tell here in our Pixel Biology channel. And we apparently have a new little blood pressure monitor to use on our cat December when he decides to stop giving me the death stare. So, hmm. If you guys could, do please leave a like to toss some treats to the guinea pigs. It will be a little while before we see them again, and I am a little sad about that, not gonna lie. Definitely going to try to recreate the elementary school room uh, in Sims 4 at some point. That might be really fun to do. Maybe we'll do that together on a stream one day. Uh, and if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye